Hello everyone! It's me again, Rose from the Philippines. Welcome to the 465th episode of Ganchiliera, a show and tell of crochet and craft related items. It's July 9, 2024. It's a Tuesday. So, hello and welcome to you guys! So, you may have seen me put up a day in the life video. I was able to take some clips throughout the day of my happenings or my the errands that I am making. So if you're interested to watch that, please do so. So today I just want to share with you guys some updates and progress reports for my whips and my NATO orders. So first off, I was able to make the skirt but it is an ongoing project still. Since I haven't acquired the length yet, which is uh, 19.5 inches. So this is how it's looking like. I was able to put a garter on the top bit of it. But the length is still a bit short. So I needed to put another round of the squares for this one. So by now it has four uh, repeats of the design and I was able to work on the fifth and the last uh, round of squares. So today I'm just gonna need to put some rows of the double crochet and then I needed to sew this to the bottom part and then I'm done. I just needed to weave in the ends after that. And after the skirt, I'm gonna figure out how to work on the Filipiniana inspired top. So I'm focusing on this project right here because I really wanted it done. I was hoping that I'll get it done before our outing at Friday. But it's still in the works and I'm having fun working on it. It is something new to me. So the next project that I want to share with you is I just inserted this project because the other day I went to Divisoria to buy a flask, a vacuum bottle flask. I have been looking for this for a while and just then that I was able to purchase one. So I started a project for the tumbler holder for the holder for this one and I used the Mercerized Cotton 5 Ply for this and also the one that I bought from my co-seller at the bazaar. So these are using some half double crochet with camel stitch and bubble stitches. So if I put this on a flask, it will stretch. And for the strap part, I made a double crochet back and forth for 8 eight stitches so I can um, use it for the outing and I can wear it cross bodied like this and the strap stretches in time so I made it shorter and I just reinforced this part here with some stitches I doubled it up so that is the tumbler holder for the class that I bought and since I really wanted a change for my bag again, uh, I have bought some 8-ply Mercedes cotton thread. So I started this project uh, days ago. And it's looking like this. I got inspired from a picture online for the design. It's just a simple design. So I just used half double crochet for the second round. Uh, two double crochet chain space uh, skip one and then two double crochet again so I'm on that uh, strap part already and since I'm running out of the pink I decided to incorporate orange and for the middle part I will join it in the middle part with a yellow yarn so I'm hoping to finish this today so that I can put a uh, lining and zipper to it already. So this is gonna be my bag. It worked out really fast because 
the yarn is 8 ply and kind of reminds me of the Dapper Dreamer yarn. Although when I researched about this one, this one is 10 ply and this other one, the new one from Monaco is 8 ply. So this one is from Dapper Dreamer and it comes in a cone. I was able to make some projects out of this like the mandala bags and some holders, tumbler holders also. So I still have this much left. And I put them on a plastic bag already because they are catching some dust already. So I am aiming to embroider recently although I can't find a, a schedule for it. So I have this kacha here that I put in an embroidery hook already and I was able to trace some design to it. If you can see, it is some uh, sunflower designs with leaves on it. I have been watching some videos of embroidery lately and I got and I got kind of inspired from it. So I wanted to try out different stitches. So I put out these colors here of the DMC thread that me surely gifted me and maybe I can do this on the side if ever I get bored with crochet so you may be seeing some more of embroidery from me in the future so those are gonna be most of it today guys I hope you have a fine time crafting and finding some family bonding time of sorts mama went to deco today to buy some stuff and now she's here and watching tv on the other room so i'm gonna let you guys go and i hope you have a fine time and god bless everyone so this is our meal for today mama cooked some crabs and some pancit kain tayo guys